Hello again folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Will Tell. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius, and last we left off, we had finally discovered, in character, that Daigo is daddy to Hyakimaru, and Tahomaru is the younger brother of Hyakimaru. But with, Ta with Tahomaru being severely injured by Hyakimaru, uh, Sabu Taro, uh, what was his name? Sabo something. Snake Eyes, whatever his name is, had decided, hey, I'm gonna kill kill him for you. And, you know, Daigo was all like, yeah, cool, take my horse. He's the best in the army, and all that fun stuff. But that has nothing to do with this episode, because this episode, we're going to delve back into Chapter 4, and we are going to find the remaining fiends that reside here. Uh, the first one, actually, being just... Somewhere. <laughs> Just somewhere. Yes. That's exactly what I meant to say. Um, the first one actually being within the Black Dragon Bridge, which I recall talking about ever so briefly. And which makes this map makes little to no sense. South Town. So I gotta go south. And I'm pretty much just going to be running the entire way, uh, most everywhere. Because hopefully, it shan't be that much of a problem. Because uh, I really want to be able to do this. That said, if I do find any of those double-sorted skeleton samurais, I will try to... Oh, hit my microphone. I will try to... Uh, smack those guys around for a little bit. I can see. Uh, by that, I totally mean try to get the sword, the seven body slayer from them. Because while the six body slayer is nice, or three, five, five, while the five body slayer is nice, uh, I would like a little bit more slaying power behind my sword. I will not bother with the gag. Unless I need the health. I said I wonder if I can actually get enough medicine up north in order to make it so as I can get another uh, one up. I'd be wondrous if that's the case. Ugh. This uh, this particular time might be a little bit longer. Simply, oh hey, it actually shows the demon locations. Hmm. I thought I was at the north side. Or south side. When you're almost at the exit of the bridge, there should be around five spear launchers there. At the left part, I nearly ran into a that. Be a wide wooden door between the walls and break it. In turn, the fight shall begin. Oh wait. Here? Wide wooden door between the walls. Oh! Is it something like up here? No. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing things wrong. Either that, or this is not the demon location that I think it is. Hmm. Because there's that one. Uh, that one. Battalion A area. I think this is where I am. Yeah. As to your left is a save point. Instead, go right. There should be a path that leads into the village. Yeah, there's a save point. Instead, go right into the village. Emits a small... Find a statue that emits a small purple spectrum. Alright, before I do that, I'm going to save... So that I don't stupidly have to do it a billion times over again. Here. Alright. So a statue, huh? Purple statue. There you go, right. There should be a path that leads into the village. Continue to the end to find a statue. 
though at the end here? How could I possibly be reading this wrong that I don't see the statue that is being spoken of? Or maybe I'm just reading the wrong section? That's also a possibility. Can't jump there. Hello. Hmm. Well, that's that one dead. Statue. Oh, I didn't actually. Okay. I missed a couple of uh, monsters I could have been looking at. Most namely the powered up version of the Umbrella guys. Ah, well. If I can clear out this place a little bit, then that should be fine by me. I didn't by chance. No? Was thinking that I had missed it, but I don't think that that's the case. Wait. Battalion A area. Place where you enter the lower black dragon bridge is. Where there is a. And there is a the left is a save point instead go right should be a path that leads into the village So where I should be pa passing it here No, wait when going into it instead go right Leads into the village continue to the end to find a statue that emits a purple spectrum. I can't tell if I saw a purple aura there or am I just seeing things? I'm not just seeing things. Alright. The crypt, uh, the good body slasher. So now I think. Okay, that made. Okay. By the way that this guide had made it sound, you see that whole area where the. Um. Kuzuma does it there is. I kind of assumed that by go to the end, it had meant at the end of that path. Not go to the shrine and destroy the shrine. That there would be a statue, not a shrine. Anyways, that's my beef. Anyways, here's death. Death apparently took up the axe instead of the sickle this time around. Weird. The 23rd Fiend. Death! Okay. Suddenly had a Final Fantasy summon. See how much damage this does. Um, that did near nothing. Oh, wait. That's right. I think one of his... Ah, I'm trying to think when... What would be this guy's weakness? Critical spot in his head. I guess that makes sense. He's not doing any damage with that pushback attack. Just saying. Like, any time that he does that, that's not doing any damage to me. Probably only if I... Okay. If I walk into it, then yeah, that probably does damage to me too. Hey. Oh, he went. Oh. And suddenly he went freaking Marty McFly on my ass. Alright. Color me intrigue. It's, it's a weird attack to see from something named Death that's, uh. You know. Holding one of the body parts of the main protagonist here, but, you know. You don't need money, you don't need fame, don't need a credit card to ride this train, all that fun stuff. So that probably means I should equip the Fire Blast instead of the Spirit Slash. Fire Storm, my bad. Alright, you do that. Do that. Stay out of that attack. What's he doing? Oh, hello. 
Yep. <laughs> it's freaking... I'm sorry! This is entertaining to me. Dude is freaking straight up skateboarding on his own goddamn staff that he clearly does for other magical tricks and whatnot. You think he does this at parties to impress other fiends and eat fiendish women being all like, Hey, check out what I can do. Okay, now he's just spamming it. It's only cool once or twice your death. Okay, but he seems to do it any single time that I'm too far away from him. So if I can keep him relatively close on hand. Nope. Don't do it another time, please. Ah, oh, come on. That trick is lame now, guy. Ah, come on. There we go. Success! I've got back my thyroid gland. Raise hormones and adjusts others' organs' functions. Boosts three parameters. Stability, speed, and metabolism. Neat? I guess? I don't know. Uh, I do know that I'm probably going to really want to get some more health back. Uh, oh no. I got a pretty decent amount before I go on to fight this next fiend. Which in theory should just be a quick hop, skip, and jump away. And not be a giant pain in the ass to find. He says, kind of really hoping that it's not going to be a problem, but knowing full well that he might just be a problem. Especially when we got these bastards. Yeah, they die so fast, I can't actually get a- oh shit. Yep. I wonder- I, I do wonder how the hell I'm supposed to get through that without much of a problem. Cause I see all the problems trying to get through that. Ow. Kinda hoping that activating that would make it so as he got attacked by his own, uh, stuff. That is not the case. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, come on! They freaking respawn? Oh, that's lame. I'm trying to sit here, do a thing so I can get back some life, and the game's all like, oh, hey! And ha I enjoy having a bad time. Oh no, I should kill that guy last. Mostly because he might drop a sword that I want. Alright. Let's try, uh... Yeah! Alright. That guy is... Kinda healthy still. God, that's a cool looking attack. I would want... That. Nineteen. Nah, ain't gonna get me shit. Oh wait. No, oh, that's bullets. Damn it. I was hoping for a sword. Right. Onward to waffles. I only wish there were waffles in this game. I only wish I had waffles now. I mean, I could probably make them, but... I got the mixins for the waffles, but... Uh, one of those at late at night things. Alright. So here, there's supposed to be a giant wooden door. Right here. Oh, you're a new one altogether, aren't you? 
beast fiend. Woohoo, you! Oh, I'm gonna hate you with the fiery passion of a million suns. Not a thousand suns. A million. I wonder what his weakness would even be. I'd say his big belly, but uh, that's the that's the case. No, no, no. Have some fire. Uh, that didn't seem to do too much to him. Uh. Good to know that Bowser. Oh god. Good to know that Bowser has himself a demonic cousin. And yes, I am referring to the Super Mario Brothers Bowser. Dororo, stop being so close to him when he does that. Much like I gotta stop being close to him when he does that. Yep. That was a pretty good chunk of damage. Okay. Oh god, please don't do that same thing that your other friend was doing. Oh crap. Come on. Oh no. Mmm. I tried. I truly I really tried on that one. Oh, now he's launching them specifically when you're so far away. That's not cool. Come on, Dororo, you got this. Whoa. Don't blow up on me. Thank you. I'd almost say that the slowdown is working in my favor, but it's really not. Dororo, buddy! Ow! Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not sure why he stops sometimes and then he doesn't other times. It's just... just an annoyance. But I win. So, he can suck it. The Cerebral Neocortex Governs thought and reason This part of the brain boosts three Preparators Endurance, stability, and look Cool That's cool It's pretty cool It's an alright thing <laughs> uh, So Looking at this here uh, guide It is telling me that I now need to head to North Town In order to find The next fiends Both of them which is great. So that means I am, of course, heading back north. If anything happens along the way that is interesting, uh, I shall cut to it. But in the meantime, be right back. Ugh, you guys do not know how much of a chore it was to get back to North Town. Mostly because the place is just... Ugh. A lot of fighting. It's not even a lot of fighting. It was mostly just running. But I did manage to get quite a bit of Jukai's medicine, so if anything goes bad, I probably should farm a little bit more medicine up. But I think we should be fine. We, we should be fine. Should. Should be fine. Maybe alright. Oh, gotta cut down these trees. Neat. Alright. What's the big bad nasty here? I think that's supposed to be a cat. Just, uh... Yep, nope, that's a hell cat. Okay. Alright. I uh, presume that it's got a bunch of attacks where it's all like, hey, I gotta get up in your face to use them sort of things. Oh, oh sure, no, I'm 
Let's attack, attack, let him get out of his animation. That's, that's, nah, that's no point. No. Oh, you gotta attack his head. Much like every freaking other fiend that you fight. Well. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. He's a little bit more dodgy dexy than I was expecting. That and his ability to just kind of knock me over just by stepping over me. Unless I gotta face this thing much like I did a, um, the Judgment guy. What's his face? Inquisitor. That's the name. Haha! -ha, bad kitty. I know I could probably do this with uh, my arms a little bit better, in theory. Oh, oh god, what's this? Oh god, what's he doing? Bad kitty. Oh, bad kitty dodges. Ah, uh, I call shenanigans on that one. Well, to say I should be surprised is a lie. What? What was that hitbox? What is any of this hitbox? Holy crap. Alright. Maybe it's his main. Maybe his main is his weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm attacking like this, so sometimes I'm attacking his main. Okay. Bad kitty. I don't care what people say. Bad kitty. Oh wait, maybe it's his tail. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm only hitting a few and far between and then getting my ass knocked down because, uh, idiocy. Oh god, please don't be spamming this. Yeah, it's just like playing all his eyes or some shit like that. No! Bad kitty. No, down. Aim down. What? I don't know what is going on, but hey, as long as it's hitting. Yeah, like that. Or maybe I'm flicking his ear. I think I'm flicking his ear. Cats don't like being flicked in the ear. To the point where they get, you know, pissy and bash you out of the air as you're mid-attack. This I get the Muladhara. First chakra located near the tailbone. Boosts slug, max HP, and regeneration. A sudden theory comes to mind. Located near the tailbone. You know what? Uh, when I was telling you guys about the Kappa reaching into your anus and pulling out the Shirodama or something like that? Is that the name of it? Something like that. Are they pulling out your first chakra? Hmm. Good for thought. So now, in order to find the last demon here, I need to go all the way to the first, or all the way to the third district of North Town, which involves a lot of running through things. So I don't know if I will be a uh, nice let's player and just forego that part or if I will simply have you guys suffer with me. I'm kind of leaning towards the suffering with me thing. Because pretty much I'm just going to be running through and if I find a demon that I can... <sighs> or maybe I won't. All right, be back in a moment, folks. In 
save the game here. Okay. Okay. They they probably should have said what part of District Three, but then again, all right, all right, that that's me. That's my bad. I was the numbskull who decided not to look at his map for the big shining red dot. But still, uh, we we've saved. I've gotten quite a bit of Geokai's medicine. It's not enough to level up or to get a one up, but hey, you know, can't complain. We're doing good. A little bit of slowdown, which I'm pretty sure should go away once we have uh, gotten into the actual boss fight proper. Oh, good. I've missed these guys. I say I miss these guys, I mean I hate these guys. Why would I miss them? I don't know. I love when I do that special kill. You guys can get out of my way too. Alright, we're good. We're not good. Now we're good. Alright, four statues. That would be my Bluetooth speaker dying. One second. Okay. We are back. We're about to hit ourselves, I think. Alright. So the four statues. Ah. Chop! I made that look all dramatical. Now this one, and then this one. Yay, I did it right. Blanca, is that you? <laughs> uh, no, so here's a question. Fox statues, right? Why? Why a big ape? If there are fox statues. Probably just, you know, me being all me. Just the whole hey, why? This guy seems easy. Freaking Fujin from the level, t uh, level chapter, rather, 5. Seems like he's harder than this guy now that I think about it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I mean, his weakness, uh, according to the thing. Whoa, okay, that's my face. His weakness, according to this thing here, uh, should be one of his horns. But, you know. Good luck getting to that. Come on, take a swing. Take a swing, buddy. Okay, you took your swung. I don't know how effective that was doing, but hey. I can't complain if it's actually being effective. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Or not. Oh crap, he's doing something. That, for one. Ow. Okay, I got another... You're not done for, Dororo. You're fine. You're more invincible than I am at the moment. And I'm barely human. Ow. Okay. I'm like half human at best. But still. Come on, Dororo. You got this. Case in point. <laughs> Victory for the ribs. Twelve parts of bones that encase the heart and lungs. Increases re endurance. Wow. 
Redurance? What the hell's Redurance? And that is the last of the fiends for that chapter. I didn't have to dive into it multiple times in order to get into it. Cool. I am fine with that. I am more than fine with that. Ah, it's just irritating though that I can't yet go back to get the fiends in one and two. Alright. So, that was... Mm, that was the... Hellcat. Cat possessed by a fiend. It feeds upon the entrails of humans. Its strength is fueled by human lust and greed. It fights with sharp claws. That it did. Death. Yep. As death. It rides upon the stick it carries in its left hand while striking with an axe in its right. All those who see this demon are doomed to die. I mean, everyone's doomed to die eventually, man. That's just life. Beast ape. Or Blood Ape, or I like to call him Blanca, because look at the guy. A monkey possessed by a fiend, its long arms slash at its victims. It, is sealed away, it was sealed away in a fox statue by a nine-tailed fox who feared its superior strength. Okay, but keep in mind that this is one of the other 48 fiends. So, one of the fiends was a monkey possessed by a fiend. Okay. And Beast Fiend, which was this guy. Throwing bombs from this pack it carries, this fiend revels in the destruction of all living creatures. It also attacks with its body and a large sword. It is a pretty big sword. I mean, compared to him, it's pretty tiny, but yeah. Um, wow, that is a little more than half of the 48 fiends destroyed. Now that said, I really wanted to take a look which one was it? Should be here. Wow, that's also almost all of the demons too. Was that so? Where the hell is it? Where the hell are you? Wind Slasher? No. Shadow Shade. Wouldn't be the Spectre Lords. What the shit? Oh, what was the shade again? Oh, okay, this is the shade. Sorry, I'm so used to non-silly names. A demon umbrella that relishes in the blood of the living. It attack. It opens up and it spins, attacking like a living saw. Once it finds its prey, it never stops attacking. It does drop Jukai medicine and the golden gourd, which is nice. Um, I think that's about it. I think so. I might go back and try to um, get the seven body sword because an upgrade would be nice from the five body sword. But for the now, that's an episode. When we return, I should probably have leveled up some and we will move on to chapter five where things have gotten interesting. So. There's got to be some interesting things going on now. Interesting things going on now. Bleh. I can't talk. Probably a good idea to call us out here. So, thank you all for watching. And I see you guys next. Chapter 5. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.